This video lesson will help you learn how to set up an order that can be left resting in your system for some time. It could be a profit taker or stop designed to execute well away from the current trading price. But the idea is to let you create an order once rather than repeating the process each day. GTC stands for a good tool cancel. A GTC order will continue to work until either the order fills or else is cancelled. This lesson will show you how to set up orders that rely on the GTC time in force using TWS Mosaic. GTC orders can be left in place for several months but do not last forever. GTC orders will automatically be cancelled at the end of the calendar quarter following the current quarter. For example, an order placed during the third quarter will be cancelled at the end of the fourth quarter. If the last day is a non-trading day, the cancellation will occur at the close of the final trading day of that quarter. For example, if the last day of the quarter is Sunday, the orders will be cancelled on the preceding Friday. You can see in the activity panel from the orders tab there are several open orders. When these orders were created they were assigned the GTC time in force and will appear whenever TWS is opened. That is they will appear unless fully executed or cancelled. By clicking on the ticker and populating the chart you can see that the resting sell order is far above the current trading price. If I right click on the ticker and select modify ticket, you can see the GTC designation selected. Click dismiss to close. What is the benefit of good to cancel orders? The ability to enter a bid well below the prevailing trading price for most asset classes or to set an offer higher than the current asking price allows an investor to place a resting order for days, weeks or months in advance without having to repeat the process on a daily basis. Let's look at an example. By clicking on the ticker of a long stock held in my portfolio window, the order entry panel will populate with that stock. I want to now create an order several dollars above the current price in the hope that the market and the stock's price will reach my target over the coming months. When the sell button is clicked, the background color in the order entry panel turns red to remind users that they are creating an order to sell. Click on the quantity field and either select the number of shares to sell or choose the entire position listed at the top of the wheel. Users may simply type directly into the input field should they choose. Next, click the Limit Order Type or LMT from the Order Type drop down menu. In the Price Input field, I will select the price substantially above the prevailing bid ask quote displayed above. This is then my intended target price to exit this trade. The crucial input is the time in force election from the drop down menu. My default is day. That means that any orders I create but don't execute will be cancelled by the system at the end of the trading session. However, click on the time in force field and change the designation to GTC instead. You do not have to hold a position in order to use the GTC time in force. For example, if you want to set up a resting order to sell, should XYZ stock reach its all-time high during the next quarter, you could set up that order well in advance and leave it there. Consider checking the two remaining boxes to increase the chance of completing your order. The Fill Outside Regular Trading Hours, or RTH, and Allow Pre-Open boxes can be selected should you choose. Review your inputs and when ready, click on the Submit button. This will generate an order preview displaying trade details. Note that Time in Force stamp in the center of the order preview window clearly displays the GTC designation. When ready, clicking on the Transmit button will generate an auto cancel date warning pop up to display. Here there are two important pieces of information. A timestamp explains the precise date and time that your GTC order will be cancelled by the system should you not do so earlier, or it remains unfilled or only partially executed. The message notes that resting orders will not be reduced for dividends, but automatic cancellation will occur should any corporate action result in an exchange or distribution of shares. Your order will remain in place until filled, cancelled or expired as explained earlier. Remember that you may monitor from the activity window in the order panel any resting GTC orders created over time in your account.